Yeah, welcome to this tutorial in which I'd like to show you the arguably easiest way of turning your Glide data into PDF and Google Docs using Docs Automator. I'm Rupert, I'm the founder of Docs Automator, and we're going to spend a couple of minutes together now uh, where I show you how to um, set everything up, how to uh, um, define the templates, um, how to define the automation in Docs Automator, and then ultimately map data inside of your Glide account in order to create those documents. Let's get into it. Uh, I have uh, taken a Glide template here, which is the applicant tracker template, and I want to build resumes for the um, applicants here, for instance, for Hugo here on the screen. Um, the first thing you always need when working with Docs Automator is a template that we can use. Templates are defined in Google Docs, and I've done that here before um, recording this video. Um, Docs Automator always uses this uh, template syntax with curly braces and then a unique name inside the curly braces. Here you see an image placeholder. Image placeholders are always given as image underscore and then a unique name. And there's a bit more there. There, there are more advanced features like dynamic tables, which you're going to find in a separate video. And we're not going to go into that in this demo. Um, for this, we're focusing on what we see here on the screen. And we want to replace these values with dynamic data from Glide. I go into um, my Docs Automator account, as you can see here, app.docsautomator.co on the um, website. Um, uh, oops, if you go on the website, you see that here in the uh, right upper corner. Um, and let me rescale my screen. It's better in the right upper corner. Um, and the first thing we need to do is create a new automation. Uh, give this a unique title. Uh, we call this um, Glide. Resume doc, and then we select Glide as a data source, and we select the template um, here with this template picker. And then we have a few more options. We can say, do we want to save the Google Doc? Um, so if you want to keep the Google Doc, for instance, in order to edit it further, etc., then you can select that here. Um, the PDF expiration is really like on Docs Automator storage. So how long does Docs Automator keep the PDF? Because Glide creates a copy of the PDF right away. So I can leave this at immediate, like the PDF gets deleted basically right away again after Glide has taken it um, and stored it in their storage. And then for images, we have um, some global options here, how images are compressed um, in terms of quality and how they're resized in terms of width. So um, images, even if images are, I don't know, 48 megapixels, then they're gonna be reduced, resized to 600 pixels in width. Uh, which really helps with the final uh, with the size of the final PDF um, that is getting printed. So we have done everything we need to do here inside of the Docs Automator account. Um, I will copy this um, ID here because because we're gonna need it. Um, and now we do some work inside of Glide. I want to add a button here, um, uh, maybe under here. So I have these actions here on the right side. I click on Add Action. And then I call this um, create uh, resume. Um, I use a document icon. Let's take this one. And then I can select Docs Automator from the integrations. Um, so there is a native integration for Docs Automator. I can click on generate document. Now I need to add it. I haven't added Docs Automator to my account here. I click on add. I need an API key. Actually, uh, that's what I had to copy first. So I go to settings and then I copy the API key and add it here. I give my um, email address, which is rupert.doxonomate.co in this case. Um, oops. And then um, we need to define the template ID um, now. Basically, I go back to my account back to the um, automation we defined. I copy this template ID and I add it here. For the file name, um, let's call the file according to the name of the applicant here. And then the output, I have a um, PDF field where I want to store that output. Um, let me actually clear that field in case there is still something in there. Um, yes, yes, there we go. So now we have um, 
defined everything except for mapping the data itself. So I click on add value and then on the left side as a key, I give the variable name in my document. So here you can see that um, name is all in small letters. So that's important. Uh, we're going to use that as well. Uh, name and we map it to the name of the candidate. Perfect. The next thing is um, level. Um, we have that as well. Uh, once again, all small to level uh, nodes um, is called nodes status status. You should have uh, done these with capital letters in front as well. Would have been easier. Um, now let's do phone candidate phone, and we have email candidate email. What else do we have? We have a um, status we already had, uh, notes we had, um, position. Position is candidate, and then um, it's called level. And then I think we're only missing the image and the date. So let's do the image. Um, as you can see, like then the the order doesn't matter here. Like we can we can um, the order can be random. Um, image underscore uh, image underscore headshot, and then I map this to the photo uh, in my data storage. Um, one thing I will do here, I will add a underscore 200 to it. So this is a resizing suffix, which basically um, scales the image to 200 pixels in width in this case, um, because I know if I um, add an image here, um, and it's gonna be, I don't know, 600 pixels, because that's the maximum for automation here, but it could be bigger if that would be set higher. So it would get very, very large and would expand um, or uh, look weirdly like would basically um, show cropped or whatever. So uh, we can just add uh, 200 in order to resize this to 200 pixels in width. And then we just need to map the date. So I said date. And here we have, where do we have that? Here we have a date. Um, one thing for dates, if I um, use a simple date field, um, it's not going to get printed as you see it here. So you will have to use a format date uh, column um, and um, basically format the date in um, however you want to you want it to be formatted. Um, this is because this is a text that is getting passed then. So this basically produces a text, whereas this is not really a text in the background. So if I would use this, and I can do that for testing purposes, I'm quickly to show you how it would come out. So I'm mapping the um, typical date field, um, then you'll see in a minute how that looks like. Um, let's add a link for that, um, which we gonna add here. Maybe more there, there we go. And then the uh, link links to the PDF. Currently we don't see anything. We, um, document icon. All right, and then we can click on create resume. Um, we see that this is doing something because it's um, faded out now. Um, but once it comes back, it has finished. Of course, you could also add a show notification step after this with an action. Um, we don't we didn't do that now. But um, there you can see the document is ready, I can open this. And there we go, we have everything replaced. Um, uh, and here the date, um, you can see what I mean. It, it might not be exactly how you want this to come out. Because if I go back and I sort of look at the date field here, it sort of has a different format, right? It has, uh, it, it's not exactly as you see it in the uh, glide, uh, um, in, in the glide data view here. So if you use a format column, and you format the date in whichever way you want to format it in. There's also a glide uh, page um, which uh, helps with that, exactly this one. So here you, you can test sort of how, depending on what you put in, um, the, the, the date is going to be formatted. Mm. And if I now go ahead and I uh, go here 
and map the formatted date and create the resume again. We wait a second till that's completed. There we go, it's done. I open this. Yeah, and now you can see that the date comes out exactly um, like I formatted, formatted it here in the data editor. Yeah, and that's, that's it. That's how easy it is to turn your Glide data into PDF and Google Docs. I hope it gave you a quick intro into how uh, Docs Automator works. If you have any questions or need support, I'm always there to help. Uh, you find me in Glide's community forum. Um, you can reach out in the in-app chat. So if you go into your Docs Automator account, you will see this chat icon here in the right lower corner. Always happy to help, always happy to support. For now, I wish you all the best and happy automating. Speak to you very soon.